Ultrasound has changed and grown so much over the years. It really first became a popular medical imaging modality emerging in the 1980s, but it's only now that it's really shining because technology has improved so much. We are able to image almost any organ and vessel in the body. Over the past 10 years, um, there have been significant technological changes within the ultrasound equipment, as well as development of new technologies. I got into sonography by doing research at Memorial Sloan Kettering, doing lung cancer and mesothelioma research. I found imaging very rewarding on the lab side of it, and I went ahead to SUNY Downstate Medical Center to pursue it on the human side. Our program is unique because we have experienced, dedicated, and passionate faculty. We train in multiple specialties. We have simulation equipment and up-to-date scan lab and our students are registry eligible upon graduation. The big benefit with DMI program is that, that you also get your bachelor's of degree in sciences, so that's a big bonus. Coming to the DMI program will give students a training and education in all aspects of ultrasound. I know a lot of other schools may, you may have to pick a track. We have simulation equipment for the types of exams that are a little bit more tricky to learn. So when you graduate, you know you can get a job in any field. The benefit of our program is the hands-on, one-on-one portion. So there's one thing learning theory. Anybody could read a textbook and learn about ultrasound. But with our program, we have multiple machines where students take in their hand the transducer and scan one another. And that is the most crucial part because that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be scanning patients and it simulates the real world process and application. Learning to scan was um, not that easy at the beginning, but it comes with practice. We got to use the scan lab where we would um, scan different assignments and we'd have the professors in there helping us to scan and teaching us how to scan. It was very hands-on. Whenever we have scanning skills in our scanning lab, professors actually guide our hands. I guess I'm more of a kinesthetic learner, so when they guide our hands and not just tell me where to look for, it, but they actually physically hold your hands and guide you, that's when I learned it the most. We had this class called Scanning Skills and we were able to get a one-on-one -on -one with our professors. They were able to instruct us um, if we were doing something wrong, they would tell us how to do it better, how to optimize our images better. Um, so it helped us gain more knowledge and more experience when scanning. When I first held the transducer and I knew what I was looking at, it was kind of like, aha, an epiphany moment. I was completely amazed the first time I actually knew what I was looking at. Um, at first, everything looks like gray blobs. And then when you finally learn what you're looking at, it's amazing. One resource that I particularly love is the Cardiac Simulator, where students actually are able to see a 3D representation of the heart and virtually dissect it and simultaneously look at an ultrasound image of that dissection. We use a combination of multimodal approaches to teach our students. They have a combination of clinical rotations the same time as their didactic courses. So students are in the classroom a certain number of days a week and out at the hospital learning. At our clinicals, we get to scan and we have other sonographers watching over us. So they really help us learn how to scan and it gives you the confidence you need to go out into the field and be a sonographer. My clinical experiences definitely helped me with my scanning techniques. The favorite thing about the program would be the classroom size, because when you go to other CUNY colleges and stuff, you have various classes with different professors and different students. Over here, we are elected as groups, and then that group gets to carry on for the next two years. I recommend this program because we have affordable tuition, and uh, financial aid is, is available to qualified students. Our class is like a family and we all help each other out. We take in uh, about 27 students per year and I always tell the students the first day of class, look to your right and look to your left because this is going to become your family for the next two years. I went to SUNY Downstate Medical Center and I loved everything about the school, starting from the faculty to the staff members to the students. As a sonographer, um, at times, it's like if I feel like I am unsure about certain things, I try to reach out, and they've been very helpful, you know, to help me along the way of my career path. The education that you receive here is very thorough. You learn everything from scanning to the books to all the conceptual stuff, too. 
I mean, there have been students that have achieved eight registries before they graduated because they wanted to know everything about the field. That kind of dedication is something that you just don't find everywhere else. It's a great opportunity to combine communication skills with patients, changing their lives, helping physicians diagnose pathologies, or telling a patient that they're going to be okay. It's a very gratifying and satisfying career. I'm passionate about sonography because it is the start of a person's healthcare journey and it's the beginning at the diagnosis. Our history stands behind us. We have produced so many successful sonographers that then go out across the United States to practice in many different types of healthcare settings. Our program is dual accredited in cardiac and general sonography. Students are eligible to take the registry exams before graduation and they don't have to pick a track. They learn everything. People ask me if I would change my mind, if I had to do it all over again, if I'd choose this profession. I think that sonography is an amazing profession. You learn something new every day and it has so many different specialties that you'll never grow bored. There's so many things to learn.